the midbrake here on the sandbar it's a little bit hair raising today Next in the lineup on the launch pad is Wave Dancer, 9.3 meter butt cat, 200 stream boat, four cylinder, four stretch Suzuki on the back. You can hear Leon starting them. Andres is still putting up some aerials and stuff. Oh, they are a relaxed group. Three seconds is a lifetime to them. What they can accomplish in three seconds is amazing. Both tons are floating nicely in this little gully. Some bad midbreak on the sandbank where they have to exit, but when it makes a gap, it makes a nice gap. Lasts for a couple of seconds, almost a minute. He's still eating sand. Eating the motor strip high, positive propulsion, very nose light there. Oops, closing up in front of him. Oh, Leon is turning sideways on the sandbank. So I wish you guys want to stop doing that. Leon, my heart. He's riding that boat like if he owns it. Or is the saying as he stole it. <laughs> yeah, ne? Now be able to be key. Dit was een lelijk hier nog geweest. Het is niet een jetski nie. Het is een surfboard nie. Het experience saved hem weer. Andere mensen die het de same didn't work out well for them. Ik ga een run voor het again. Hopefully there's enough water on the sandbank, yes. Nicely into the cap. Captain Leon Stein, experienced skipper here in St. Lucia Estuary. Not many years behind the wheel, but many years on the ocean. Many, many years on the ocean. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. The wise man's pulling that, pushing that small duck with a big motor on. Wasman for soap, don't run all over the duck, eh? That rubber duck suddenly stopped, Wasman is gonna run right over it. Put the push pull right through it. Behind them is a Stella offloading. So I would love to know what motor is behind on the back of that duck. Keeping the motors nicely and trimmed high. No, I'm not reading it right. My eyes are deceiving me. It's a 100. Let's see. It's not going to be a 200. It's 
I'm still a big motor for the duck. Two skippers contemplating which is the best angle of approach. Some boat killers right in front of the duck. Is he gonna get his timing right? There's another boat killer over there. You committed, my friend. That's almost a late turn. And that white foam, there's not much traction under the prop. But he's got a lot of power, a lot of confidence. Sets of closing up in front of him again. Another boat killer. Keeper, too many cook spoils the broth. Let the man do his job. He's behind the steering for a reason. He's got his angle right. He waits them out. He should get the gap. Synchronized with the gap. A mm, couple of more boat killers coming through. He's going to listen to his co-pilot. He's pushing right onto the sandbank. Yes! <laughs> well done, co-pilot. Well done. But no um, No more is keeper the cock out sort here. <laughs> oh my me. I would come back to the channel if I were you guys. There's our boat killers right over there on that sandbank. Uh oh, uh, some action here. That sandbank goes right into that. It doesn't. The sandbank doesn't stop. He's rooster tailing the boat, and there's boat killers in front of him. He hasn't got any traction, propulsion, or steering. He's pretty much committed and facing them. He's going to turn sideways in front of it and he's stuck on the sand. Yep, that's why you only have one skipper on the boat. Now he has to come back onto the sandbank, but he sorted it out. He's coming back into the channel. And that's a flooding boat there. Well done, young man. Don't listen to your co-pilot. You are the skipper. Letting the boat dry, drain out, back onto the sandbank again, on the opposite side of the channel. Ah, co-pilot, you've done it wrong before. Just, just keep your hands on the railing and let the skipper do his work. That's boat killers right over there. They're not off the sandbank. He's got some propulsion if he trims up the motor and he did that. The skipper has got his wits about him. There's just not too many people interfering with him. He's going sideways to that one. May he be lucky and it opens up for him because he's in a very, very bad situation right now going towards the boat killers. Shifting the weight so he can get more traction on the motors, but he's back stacked on the sandbank. Wonder how they cannot see that the white water is sandbank. And he turns right back onto the sandbank again. That skipper is now confused. Come back to the shore, get your bearings right. You're working yourself back onto the sandbank. Come back to the shore until you get your bearings right. They're walking the boat more onto the sandbank. I don't know how. Oh yeah, yeah. And 
that's typical Stella. There's a boat stuck on this in the shoreline, and he he just enters it. Anyway, it's better for those guys just to wait a little bit on the sand, so this keeper can get his bearings. Stella has worked his way into the channel. 22 foot Yeltcat with 200 four stroke Suzuki's on the back. Two 150 four stroke Suzuki's on the back there. That is even more confused than the skipper. They are gonna do a redo there. That's better. The skipper must get his bearings. Let's see how Stella is going to find his way over the sandbank. See, you have to get the timing right. And then you commit it. Whatever is happening there, you have to face it. And if you're not sure how you're going to face it, then you shouldn't be there. That's exactly what your Anki just proved there. Experience, experience, experience. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. We are now rushing to get a good angle so she can make a video of ocean commotion. They've got the metal push pole or fluke in there. Wiseman lined him up nicely today. It's not the battle to push him. Still trimming the motors into the ready position. Wiseman waiting for some water, but that could just turn ocean commotion sideways. Husband is correcting there a little bit. I should commotion is turned sideways. That's a bugger up. Let's see how Stewart manages it very well. Well done, young man. There you guys can see the number bookings 078 499 Looks like 85. Ocean Commotion 5, a 3 ton boat, to 200 V6 4 stroke Suzuki's on the back. Very shallow launch here today. He's got the channel right, he's got the size of the boat to punch through, but they are boat killers today. Similar day that the 730 Twister was bruised badly. Stewart decided he's going to turn, wait his turn. How's he going to manage in that narrow channel to turn? You're right on the sandbank, Stewart. You sideways on the sandbank. Oh no! Reverse. Reverse. lined up for the channel through the sandbank but you've got my nerve shots why do I have PTSD remember guys I see all the boats that flip I've witnessed a drowning through the camera lens it's not Calm down Peter. Stewart has got everything under control. He's lined up perfectly for the exit of the sandbank there. You just have to wait for those sets to wash through. Look at the size of them. While we're watching Stewart waiting for the sets to wash through, Naughty Van 2 is getting ready on the launch pad Stewart is committed he's on the power yeah he's got his timing perfect there Stewart you're not allowed to do this to the old man eh Jeez. 
Wow, look at the experience. Such a big boat off the sandbank, floating the whole time, right into the gaps. Hit the foamy at the right time. Well done, Stuart. Happy hunting, enjoy the day. Naughty van, two floating, two Mercury's on the back. I don't know the specs of the boat. I knew it, but I forgot it. Dry baiting one one two one one five mer Mercury's by dry bait. It's the people that build the V cats. And he thinks he's got his gap, he's on the power, he is committed. He is totally committed. Yo Absolutely well done. For a holiday maker, that's like a pro. Excellent, my friend. Yes, you guys deserve a high five. Beautiful. Maverick, the next one being pushed. Josh floating nicely down the channel. 830 butt cat, very light. Uh, deck layout. Two 154 stroke Suzuki's on the back. The same power as Stella, which is a 22 foot. Yelp cat, this is a 28 foot butt cat. Josh has proven over the years that he gets the timing right. It's a YouTube video that we published here with him going out with a little plastic boat dressed like a Taliban with a one and a half or two and a half horsepower motor. I think it's one and a half horsepower motor on the back. Only timing got him to get to that surf and he's got his timing perfectly Although that one is closing ugly in front of him He's gonna hit it right in the color Yo, he made it in time Yosh Maar die dikte van die ding is, my vriend Happy hunting, enjoy the day And yeah, rubber duck with the 100 Four stroke Suzuki on the back is floating again. Just hope the co pilot keeps his nose out of the skipper's business now. Let the skipper do his work. Don't confuse the man. They did come back to the shore, they did reset the nerves, make sure the adrenaline nerves worked off. And the co pilot has got his nose in the skipper business again. That is not being put off now. Well done, well done. Still got one big one to just navigate, but you've done that one as well. Well done. One more, one more. You're not done yet. Absolutely fabulous. See, don't interfere with the skipper. Let him do his job. He knows what he's doing. Happy hunting, gentlemen. Enjoy the day. All right, that's Free Spirit 1 being pushed. The Whale Research team, all the way from Stellenbosch. 830 Carry Cat, 204 stroke Suzuki's on the back. Captain Walter Leibrand. Uh, 
building up ugly and there's two more big ones coming through on the set but it's gonna turn around look at that big one that's a boat killer yo that's a nine footer second one on the set of big ones washing through i think after that one it looks nice and calm Nope, that's what Walter has to deal with. And he found his gap, he's on the power, look at that tight fit. Carry cat run. Yo, it moves. Yo, 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 yo. Happy whaling guys, enjoy the day. Next one on the launch pad is Advantage Charter 1 with the first group of whale watchers. Two fifty V six four strokes has started. Pushing the motor stream tie, Captain Mike Leibrand. They got a new training skipper. I don't know if he's on board today. It doesn't look like it. It looks like the marine guide. Daryl standing there, can't see the training skipper. Might be using the reverse to get the boat lined up. No, it's the young man. I don't believe it. Sean. Okay. Yesterday when I spoke to him, he seemed to have a lot of, lot of knowledge of the sandbanks and surf launching down at Shelley Beach and the beaches down the south coast. So let's see him on his maiden voyage. Maybe he did a launch yesterday or two that I don't know of. well aware of his surroundings ugly one standing up on the sandbank for him oh, both killers washing through now patient young man patient Definitely working the steering and the motors hard to keep the boat in the right facing in the right direction. At all times making sure he knows what his motors is doing. Okay, I think he's got his line right and ready. Some big wings washing still washing in. He's got patience. He absolutely has the right amount of patience for surf launching in St. Lucia. And he's committed. He's running for it. Wow. <laughs> We've got a new yellow board here in St. Lucia, guys. Look at that. Wow. Like a pro. 
Excellent! Well done, young man. Well done. And that is Captain Sky Kutsia on Cruise Spirit 2. 830 Batcat. The 204 stroke Suzuki's on the back. He's got competition. No other recourse than to be patient this morning. He has to wait for the gap. And that's the gap opening and Sky's got a line right. He saw the gap. Look at that butt cat go. Yo, it's a nimble vessel. It's quick on the speed. And he's going to run right through the gap. Well done, Sky. Well done. Happy well watching. Enjoy the day. Two oil watchers waiting to return. Charter 1 and Free Spirit 2. There's a Aki. Aki Aki Gully. Look at that breaking back on itself look at that oh no Captain Sky could see us first one for the two boats to come back running onto the white water wow done Sky that no who made it that one look easy And not nice beach. Advantage Charter 1. Just to get the fuel for the sets. Young man that has been riding boats on the south coast for a long time. He's been in Charter 1 on the plane. That, that young man can ride boat. He can ride a boat. Well done. I'm impressed. Well done. Advantage Charter 1, being ready to be pushed. That's the 9 meter Bencat. 2250 V6 4 strokes on the back. Almost 3.2 or something meters wide. Got a positive float there, keeping the trims high. into the channel taking his trims and his motors Frequencies like to come in. If the skippers let them do their job, I'm going to take that gap. It's opening up a little bit more to the right. Yes, those V6s look sounds nice when they. <laughs> that was a nice spray over there. This is the size of the Bencat. Beautiful gap that he got into. Well done, young man. Well done. I think the Labrons has got a nice team together for this season. 
everything is gonna go down well. Alright, that's Captain Sky Kids here on Free Spitter 2. Gary's unlike this, he's one of these days gonna be the oldest keeper on the beach. I think today Leon is older than him and Josh. The youngsters are moving in. This guy also holding, waiting for his timing. There's no place to ride the boat. It's all about timing and speed. People don't believe the acceleration of these boats when you, the captains tell them and often one slides off the back of the, the seat. Oh, that's an ugly one. Oh, he missed it. Well done Sky. Experience shows you. Happy well watching, enjoy the day. That's a beautiful ocean commotion still fishing there. Don't know if he's retrieving the real rods and reels to come back or are they busy fishing? One by lovely vessel there. It's Stella, I don't know if he made up his mind not to return finding a different angle to return it's right in the back line looks like if he's returning twenty-two feet the outcat two one fifty four strokes Suzuki's on the back I think he's returning into the history Was it Charter 1 on the launch pad Wiseman keeping positive push. Right, he's still tripped up. The youngster is not rooster tailing, it's just pushing, applying positive pressure. Floating nicely there in the gully, waiting for the seats to make sure that he's got the timing right, got the angle right. Holding the boat still on the gears. Many moons ago we didn't have that privilege, we didn't have trim and tilt, so when you put the motor in the reverse it just picked up. He's chosen his angle of approach. Well done, very very slow, very collective, calculated. Well done young man. Happy while watching, enjoy the trip. We put it to also the third launch for the day. Got the sky could see her. I put the bucket. 204 strokes That's pushing him onto the sand working his way off the sand there might have trimmed up a little bit yeah 
stripped down. Gap's closing up on the sandbank for him. I think he's got his line of approach. He's waiting his turn. Yes, he's waiting it out. He keeps that bait in the back current, in the side current, in the wash zone of the waves. On the power, oops, it's closing up in front of him. What's he gonna do with it? Nope, he found the saddle right through the middle. Well done. Yes, that boat has got speed. Happy well watching guys. Enjoy the day trip. Advantage Charter 1 on the way back. This is running close to the back line, he's into the back line. This young man has got his teeth crossed and his eyes dotted. Well done. Captain Sky could see her on Free Spirit 2. Also taking a very slanted approach. And move comfortably into the back line. Approaching the sandbank, he's holding back. He's chosen his line of approach, he's on the speed, he's entering the gully over the sandbank on the back of that foamy, jumping a right over it. Expertly done, well done, guys. I missed Free Spirit one coming back, he had a nice jump. Damn. Well done, Walter. Maverick. Can't see if he's ready for final approach. Looks like it. Everybody's sitting down. Everybody's got life jackets on. Sets. He found his rhythm, he's got his line right, he's coming in for final approach. He's hanging a little bit back. on the sandbank alright he's got his line he's on the one that he wants to be not that they're riding the them on their back they're coming in sideways he's holding back on that white one climbing over it well done. He's 
some speed and that's a beach well done Josh gee there's one more well watching look at this one nine footers six footers nine footers all over the show yeah for this charter one fourth footer well watching trip for the day this is not nice here anymore this is a erasing now it's for the men that can Shallow there. Might just lift up the wind in the ice. Just riding the bow. Yeah, so we're waiting in anticipation to see what it's going to do with those big waves on the sandbar. The mid brakes. turns him around there. Bloody hell. Look at that. Probably because he's keeping the motors in the reverse and the positive thrust forward that could be why it's turning in like that I don't know what it is ok he's chosen his angle he's chosen his gap he's pushing those two deeper people Done, young man. Uh, happy well watching. Enjoy the trip. Okay, Advanced Charter One is coming with lining up for, for a return. Seems that the ocean is not safe or comfortable either or to be out there. one that is in front of him he's riding it on the side getting over it well done yes that took both handles well and that's a return welcome home short trip sorry about that guys